Team Impulse is 4-0 on their last, well, four matches. And I'm here with Apollo to talk about the fact that you guys have gone through the gauntlet now. You only have CLG left. Uh, and and you've just now you get to beat up on people like Coast, which you just beat up on. Uh, so where where do you think you guys are going to finish at the end of the split? Uh, I don't really look at the standings too often because then I have to like think about all that stuff. So I don't really look at it. But we definitely have like the easier week right now, or like easier weeks. We have we have Winter Fox next and Dignitas, and then CLG. CLG. So CLG is obviously the hardest one, but we still have to take these matches seriously. Like in in a sense, these are the wins, like the matches that we actually have to win because these are like the easiest, and we don't want to or easier. So we don't want to, you know, let up on them. Yeah. Um, but at the end of the, I think we're looking to get maybe like third or second, right, for the for the end of the season, and then that will give us like a good spot in playoffs. But yeah, um, we should be we should be good. Nice. Yeah, so much of it depends, obviously, on C9, TSM, CLG, how that stuff goes. Uh, so we'll we'll have to see. But I, I'd love to know what you guys did during the break, because I feel like some people took it as a chance to relax and kind of reset for the, the final two weeks. Some people took it as a chance to take advantage of, like, the extra time to practice. So for you, what, what was going on with Team Impulse? Um, I mean, we did a little bit of both. Actually, I think we just took a break for the most part. <laughs> like, we did a little bit. No. Actually, we just sort of sat around. Okay, well, it's, it's good to take a break, you know? It's, like, it's good to, like, relax and after – Especially after like a hard week, you're like, oh my god, it's exhausting. So it was good. We went to like Universal Studio, and then I didn't go to Six Flags. So I didn't want to, but my teammates did, or some of them did, and it was good. And then, so that was one week of like kind of break time, no scrims, and then the next week, during I guess yeah, which is also kind of a break, but that was that was our scrim week, and we practiced and we made sure that you know we were looking good coming into it, which we really didn't do that well in scrims, but it's okay. Yeah, yeah, I heard some rumors. About the scrims. Heard they weren't that great. Yeah. That's what I heard. Yeah. Here, I hear other teams did pretty well, though. Oh, really? Yeah. What about CLG? CLG? I haven't heard anything about CLG. Picks and bands? <laughs> yeah. Actually, I have a copy of their scrims that I would love to send over to you. Yeah. Just send me it through Skype. Um, or DM me through Twitter, because, you know, Skype can get get bad. Hopefully there, nobody catches on. Yeah, that that would be bad. Esports have an article. Uh, either way, Apollo, no, I, I I, don't know. It, it's kind of interesting because you guys seem to be doing, you know, like a lot of people are like, okay, tip is kind of whatever, and suddenly you just turn it on. So what what do you think is happening there? Um, I mean, we kind of already knew that it was going to take a little bit of time to like for us to get moving and just get used to our teammates and like how we communicate and – how we communicate <laughs> but i feel i feel like that's what everyone says right it's like that was like the week three week four mantra of like winter fox you like ever everybody well you know it's gonna take some time like we don't all speak the same language like everyone was just saying that but you guys are actually living it yeah well it's because we're better than them oh. in every way so i mean it sucks for them that they are really bad but you know we i can't really do anything about that yeah. mm-hmm so everything you said about Piglet back then, yeah. it's it's coming back. <laughs> God, you know that whole thing was because of you. I did. I just said. Oh, I just asked you to rank them. The Reddit article was like didn't even link your interview because you know why would they do that? <laughs> That'd be dumb. They just yeah. the headline. Apollo thinks he's better than everyone. Yeah. That was. I was super salty about that because your interview didn't really do anything. Like I, I like. Yeah. yeah. You could, like, uh, like, increase the viewers on that interview, yeah. but it didn't. Yeah. It probably like reduce the viewers <laughs> i mean for me it's not even about the viewers like I'm, I'm not super like viewer driven but it's frustrating because like people i like it when people watch the whole interview right like oh i've constructed this interview with the person i was interviewing and here's like all this different stuff and then somebody will just take one line out of it make a reddit thread and like mm-hmm. no one will actually even look for like the full context or anything like that but you did say that you thought that you were better than piglet and that's not on me that's on you i didn't say it was no no i didn't say it was better i said i didn't know much about him you ranked all of them, and you put yourself in the top four and did not put Piglet ahead of you. That means you're better than Piglet based on your opinion. I said in the interview, 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 the interview I wasn't going to rank Piglet because I haven't played against him. Okay. That's it. Yeah. And so he was unranked, like hadn't gone through placements yet. That's what you're saying. You're actually awful. <laughs> There's going to be another Reddit thread now. It's going to be like, Paulo still thinks he's better than Piglet. Yeah, yeah. And <laughs> Do you? Oh, that's a good question. Hmm. Actually, I don't. I don't think I'm better than Piglet mechanically, but with working with a team, 
I'm better. I mean, that's just kind of it's it's not like it doesn't really have anything to do with him. It's just I'm working. So he could he could one v one you, but whenever impulse goes up against TL and you guys are up against each other in the same lane, then you win. Working better with my team than he is working with his team. It has nothing to do with like individual skill level. It's just yeah, just how it is. What about Keith? Whenever Keith is on TL and you're on impulse, is Keith better? He's actually awful. Yeah. No, I just I'm a friend of his, but I want to shit talk him. I mean, I want to flame him. <laughs> well, now, now everyone is gonna. Now there's just gonna be a red thread that That's says okay, Apollo though. says Keith is awful. He's an amateur player, so it like doesn't matter. Like it's like, oh, who cares about Keith McBrief Latukan? Hey, duo. Yeah. Question. He's an amateur player that, based on what I saw in all of esports just a second ago, is the top KDA record for this this season. Yeah. That's pretty impressive. Yeah. Where's my KDA? I haven't died in a while. Yeah, yeah, I kind of miss like the gray screen. I should try that out sometime. Well, based on what I was hearing about scrims, like oh yeah, I get yeah. that a lot. I get the gray screen a lot, but on stage is like it's more like you feel you feel the death more. Yeah. What do you what do you th do you think you guys are starting to get fans because you there's like TSM way up here, CLG like C9 TL, and then there's just like this like sort of baseline where you know how like yeah. in a movie whenever somebody's like on life support and then you just hear. Bzzz, that's like That's whenever I hear whenever I look at because there was a chart on Reddit about like people's fans or whatever and that was you and Winter Fox and uh, a couple other actually Winter Fox was a little bit higher just because they had the EG hype oh yeah the yeah. EG. yeah I mean we're get, definitely getting fans but uh, usually our fans I feel like are other teams fans you know they kind of just like they're like oh hey this team's doing kind of good maybe we should just support them a little bit like giving them like 75% of our no like 25% of our support but we're like 75% CLG but 25% tip. You, you're the, the team where the fans go on, like, vacation. Yeah, yeah they're like, uh, CLG. I'm not bored of this team right now, so I'm just going to take a break, yeah. go to tip for a while, see how they're doing. Yeah. And if they start to crash and burn, then we'll I might, you know, my backup. Yeah. Like, C9 was, well, they just went 0-2 this weekend. So, hey, tip went 2-0. <laughs> like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, tip, yeah. I like those guys. Shall we, shall He's a yeah, cute he's boy. Good. Like, hilarious, yeah. Oh boy. Yeah, it's really bad. When are you going to get like the people, when are you going to stop being like a resort town and become like a place where people can raise their families? I mean, probably after we win worlds. That's like the main goal. Yeah. But if we don't, then we're just like screwed. Yeah. Actually, I think, I don't really know how people get fans. That's like a really good thing to learn. Yeah. Maybe just Twitter? Yeah. I think they get it by saying that they're better than Piglet. You think so? <laughs> I feel like I lost a few fans there. <laughs> like, wow, I really hate that guy. Yeah, yeah. He's arrogant and shouldn't play league. Yeah. Nah, I mean, I think maybe, I mean, you know, you can check out our website, teamimpulse.gg. We're going to get a few merchandise things there. Maybe that will help my fans. You think, hey, you could buy something from me, and people are like, I'm a huge fan of that guy. See, the, everyone was, like, asking about, like, oh, when can we get the sweatshirt? And then maybe they're just like, oh, they're never coming out with the sweatshirt. I'm going to leave Tim Impulse as a fan yeah. and go to C9 because they sell jackets. Yeah. People yeah. really want to be able to spend money. Exactly, exactly. What about, like, a tip bracelet kind of thing? That sounds awful. That was a really bad idea. Really bad idea. Everybody gives yeah. out to bracelets. No, no, but that's a stupid idea. <laughs> Maybe the negativity is what's pushing away some of the. No, no, that's not it. Yeah, that's not that's not it. I'm a nice guy. I don't feel like you've ever been very nice to me. Well, yeah. Uh. <clears throat> Do you have any shoutouts, plugs, anything you'd like to say here uh, at the yeah, end? Shoutouts to um, our newest sponsor, Koyos, and uh, our remaining sponsorship, Zubu. Shoutouts to them, and then you can check out our website, teamimpulse.gg. Thank you so much for the interview, Apollo. This is the type of interv the interview that I do, and people are like, Travis isn't a real journalist. He doesn't ask real questions. Yeah. Someday. You can check out the rest of our coverage of all things esports at ongamers.com. Right, Wait, you're on. leaving? What? Oh, I need Cut! Water. Yeah, I need water. This is too much. Oh, my God. And that's the interview. We're done. <laughs> You're nervous? Mm -hmm. For what? This fucking bug that's yeah, making exactly. me nervous. Oh exactly. my god, I hate that shit. So over. fucking angry at it. Jesus. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. Ah.